Okay, recording. Hi, Bike World. Today is an exciting day. We're back on the Indian FTR 1200, and we're prepping for our first actual go out on a flat track with this bike. FTR, last time you saw it, we were doing track days with it. We've actually finally managed to get a space booked on at Greenfield Speedway, so Greenfield Flat Track up north, Lincolnshire somewhere. There's a DTRA practice day there, so I'm stoked to finally have a chance to go and do some actual flat track on a flat track with this bike. Um, so we've got a bit of prep to do to that, but more excitingly, boxes have arrived. So the lovely people at s, &S Performance have sent us uh, their engine control manager, which unlocks the riding modes on the base model FTR. Um, if you get the top spec FTR, they have rain and sport modes. Um, the standard one doesn't, but this thing makes that happen. That is the box that makes time travel possible. So we're going to fit that, and we've also got, which I'm really excited about, the Grand National slip-on from them. So it's a slip-on silencer to replace the huge standard silencer, save a ton of weight and make it sound nicer. So we're going to crack on to getting the exhaust on. As well as this, we have got one more component, which is this here, which isn't very big and doesn't look that exciting. But this is from More Speed Racing, an awesome little tuning firm down in the south of England. This is their link pipe. So they've done a ton of stuff for the FTR. This is for removing the catalytic converter. So for road use, not, I don't know what the ruling is, but yeah, you're not supposed to take the cats out of bikes for road use, but because this is a track bike and an off-road bike, we can take the catalytic converter off, which if you look underneath, is a massive, massive box, as it is on all motorcycles these days. So that's gonna save us a ton of weight. We replace that great big box with that cheeky little link pipe and embrace millions more speeds. So, let's crack into it. Time for a quick sound check. So this is FDR 1200 on the stock exhaust. Fifteen minutes and 43 seconds. Considering I had a little bit of a faff and a little bit of a meltdown, I'm pretty pleased with that. Now, the more important thing is to see what it sounds like. Okay, standard FDR exhaust, 4.45 kilos. I'm weighing some other components now. S and S, 2.45 kilograms. It's two kilos, two kilos saved with the S and S exhaust. That's pretty awesome. And it's not stupidly loud, but it does definitely sound a bit nicer. And it looks cool as. So, SNS 2.4 kilos. Have you noticed we're not writing on the wall anymore? Look, we've got a whiteboard. We've actually done some unfinished project work on the garage itself. So we've got a snazzy new bench, painted floor, and a whiteboard to save my walls from Neil and his graffiti. You want, me, you want to know what I'm doing? So now we've tried the slip-on muffler only. The next stage is 
to have a look and take the cat off as well. Oh, just, just. Right, let's have a see what that weighs because that is a chunky piece. That's the stock cat. Again, chunk of metal, 3.9 kilos. And the link pipe that replaces it is 75 grams. 75 grams? 0.75 kilos, whatever that is. Um, that's a massive, massive difference, actually. That's over three kilos saved there. So that is a well worthwhile modification. And quite apart from that, it's really opened up the look of the back of the bike. Um, that whole area in front of the rear tyre is clean, clear now. Yeah, it makes it look awesome. So definitely pleased with that mod. God, that looks loads better. That's wicked, isn't it? Shit time, isn't it? I'm quite excited about this. That's loud. <laughs> it's really loud. <laughs> there we are. More shiny bits bolted on. We've got the SNS Grand National Silencer and the More Speed Racing DCAT link pipe. Um, when we fitted just the silencer with the standard cat, it was a really, really good improvement in the, the sound the bike made and not massively louder. It was actually quite quiet still, which is a good thing, I think. As this bike's for racing for track, we're losing the cattle together, so the decap pipe's gone in. It's a lot louder, but the sound is awesome. And again, for a race bike that's going to be used on on tracks without a sound limit, without a noise testing, then it's then it's perfect. It's no stress for us. So far, we've been unbolting and bolting things on. Um, next stage is actually really getting stuck into this bike. We're going to start really tearing into it and getting it apart. We need to remove the ABS system. There's a few more kind of EVAP emission systems around the bike. It's pretty in depth. So the next time we're working on it, we're going to be pulling all the body work off and getting right down inside the guts of this FTR 1200. Um, but not before we've had a chance to get out for a spin. So watch this space because I want to hear what that sounds like when it's on full song. <laughs> 